guys once again welcome back to this platform and my name is sam adonis today we are going to be looking at the uganda athlete who competed in the paris olympics rebecca chiteje she died by her ex-boyfriend setting a blaze and which is so sudden that we hear of this death and this is happening in uganda that is not good at all now we are going to dive into the circumstances that led to her death and how the whole issue happened but in this video we don't have the video how she died but we have just the pictures and the explanation of people that actually contributed to how she passed out on at the hospital so let's dive into the details ugandan athletes who competed in the olympics rebecca chiptige passes away after being set ablaze by her ex-boyfriend olympics athlete rebecca chiptige has died days after being dosed in petrol and set on fire by her former boyfriend the 33 year old uganda marathon winner who competed in the recent paris olympics has suffered intensive burns after sunday's attack so she was attacked sunday by her ex-boyfriend the authorities in the northwest kenya where chiteje lived and trained said she was targeted after returning home from church with her two daughters her father joseph chiteje said that he had lost very supportive daughter fellow uganda athlete james Kiwa told the BBC about her generosity and how she had helped out other runners financially. A report filed by the local administrator alleged the athlete and her ex-partner had been wrangling over a piece of land. Police says an investigation is underway. Chiteja from a region just across the border of Uganda is said to have bought a plot in trans Insuwe county and built a house to be near kenya's elite athletes training center attacks on women have become a major concern in kenya in 2022 at least 34 percent of women said they had experienced physical violence according to the national survey this tragedy is a stark reminder of the urgent need to combat gender-based violence which has increasingly affected even Eli Sports, Kenyan Sports Minister Kim Chamba Mukunmen said, speaking to journalists outside the hospital where she had been treated, Mr. Chiteje asked the Kenyan government to ensure justice was done after the death of his daughter. We have lost our breadwinner, he added, and wondered how her two children, aged 12 and 13, would proceed with their education. Dr. Kimani Mbuegu, a consultant at Mwe Teaching and Referral Hospital in Alderite, told local media that the staff did all they could for her, but the athlete had a severe percentage of burns, which unfortunately led to multi-organ failure, which ultimately led to her passing this morning at 5.30, that was 2.30 GMT. Kiwa, who had visited Chiteji in hospital, told the BBC she was a very affable person. She helped us all, even financially, and she brought me to training shoes when she came back from the Olympics. She was like an older sister to me. Uganda's Athlete Federation said in a post on X, We are deeply saddened to announce the passing of our athlete. Rebecca Chiteje early this morning, who tragically fell victim to domestic violence. As a federation, we condemn such act and call for justice. May her soul rest in peace. That's what the federation came to post on. This is heartbreaking. Even more heartbreaking that it's not the first time the athlete community has lost such an incredible female athlete to domestic violence. British Olympian Ellis McCulger wrote on X. Chitavia's former boyfriend was also admitted to the hospital in Alderate, but with less severe burns. He is still in intensive care, but his condition was improving and stable. Mwe Hospital Dr. Owen Menes says. Local police chief Jeremiah Oli Kupsium was quoted by local media as saying the couple were headquartering outside their house 
During the altercation, the boyfriend was seen pouring a liquid on the woman before burning her. That's so insane. That's so insane. This was a cowardly and senseless act that has led to the loss of a great athlete. Her legacy will continue to endure. The head of Uganda's Olympic community, Donald Rikera, said on X, talking to the reporters earlier in this week, her father said that he prayed for justice for my daughter, adding that he had never seen a such an inhuman act in his life. Shitevje finished 44th in the marathon at the recent Paris Olympics. She also won gold at the World Mountain and Trail Running Championship in Chiang Mai, Thailand in 2022. Her death comes after the killings of fellow East African athlete Agnes Tirop in 2021 and Damaris Muita the following year with their partner identified as the main suspect in both cases by the authority. Tirop's husband is currently facing murder charges which he denies while he called a hunt for Muti's boyfriend continues. So that's how the school story goes on. It, it thinks or it means that a lot of athletes from that particular country or that neighboring has faced a lot of domestic violence over the years. Chitep J. Rebecca is not the first person to face violence, but that's inhuman art happening over the Ugandan athlete community. I think the authority should break down to book and there's something should be done over there because if not a lot is going to be consumed a lot of female athletes over there are going to be consumed by this inhuman ass guys this is crazy and i just think i should bring this news to your notice that you know what is currently happening in uganda athlete association you know this woman had done her own part and has run to the best of her knowledge even i think there are many things ahead of her she's only 33 years and this actually took place what do you guys think i went to facebook and i saw a lot of people saying uh, some things i think this is what somebody said it's really so sad how some ladies fall in love with an enemy god please in your favor mercy protect every lady all around the globe that's somebody's opinion and if you are in a toxic relationship please speak out imagine may her soul rest in peace the gear child has become an endangered species we haven't finished talking about christianity's case and here we are faced with another may god deliver us you see this worldly love and hatred very close relative very thin in line between them the only truth and genius love is agape the agape love is means like it's unconditional that's what the person is trying to say imagine walking your way to the top only for a referral to send you to the early grave your early grave sorry always walk away if it becomes life-threatening i'm sure she had saw the notification through his behavior but stay until it's too late it's good to remain single that's somebody's opinion hey that's so sad may her soul rest in peace so guys that is what happened to rebecca stage who is the female athlete in uganda who has participated in the paris olympics and she has done marvelous in the 44 position and which is not something that you must joke with and she has done her best so i think this is what happened may her soul rest in perfect peace the deed has been done and there's nothing that nobody can do about it the only thing that the authority of people can do about it is that to hold the boy ex boyfriend responsible he's also in testing care and his condition has been stable i think after that after that place he should be sent to jail he should face the consequences or other way you send somebody to the grave they send you to the grave simple as that and this this is so sad guys what do you think about this uh recent happening on the Ugandan athlete, female athlete, Rebecca Chiteje. Whatever I think, just drop it in the comment section. Thank you for watching this channel.